What is going on, everybody? I'm back, um, with the Destiny video. So, it's actually been quite a while for me since I played Destiny. I think it's been about... Gosh, I almost want to say a month. Um, but Bungie did release a new thing, Sparrow Racing, um, today. So, I kind of just wanted to try it out, see how it... See, um, like how it played, uh, like my initial opinions. Like, I wasn't going to... going to play it just because I really don't want to get involved with Destiny um, until they actually release something worth playing, but I just wanted to try it out just to see how how it is, and you know, it's alright. It's, it's a little fun side activity, I guess. Um, it's pretty good for free, I guess, you're not paying anything, so that's, that's a huge bonus, but I don't know. I just... I don't think it fits the game, really. It's... Like, it, it's fun, of course, but in my opinion, it's just, it's really boring. Um, there's two races, there's two maps, sorry. My first two races were on, my first one was on the Mars map, and my second one was on the Venus map. I won both of the races after not playing Destiny for about a month. So that kind of just goes to show how ridiculous <laughs> um, the game is. I also don't think this really fits Destiny because, like, I know I'm kind of like, I keep saying like, god damn it. Um, this commentary isn't the best because I just kind of just started this and I just want to get this out of the way. Um, what was I saying? It doesn't really fit Destiny because, I don't know, just the way the sparrows move and they're so unpredictable when they hit objects. Like, it's not like you're playing Mario Kart. Mario Kart, it's very predictable what's going to happen, there's fun power-ups with this, it's just annoying when people bash into you and you hit a curb wrong or something, or you slide incorrectly when you hit a power boost. Um, you'll see, I'm going to play these first two races I got, um, back to back. I do only show the last lap, because I'm sure you guys have already seen them already, but I just wanted to make a video out of it anyway, just, just, so, just so you guys know what I've been up to and whatnot. So as far as keeping me attached to Destiny, this hasn't helped. Um, I'm definitely just not going to go back to Destiny yet. This will probably be the only day I'll actually play this. Um, the only the only time I'm going to go back to Destiny is if a new expansion comes out that actually catches my eye. I have heard rumors that there aren't going to be any story-based DLCs in year two, which... What do you do when Bungie... Like, that's just ridiculous. I don't. I don't understand what they're doing with that. But <laughs> I don't know what kind of direction Bungie is taking Destiny in. At first, it just seemed like an amazing MMORPG. Then we played it, and we realized it was lackluster. And then it started to get a little bit better, and now it's just falling off so hard. And I don't know if Bungie is realizing it, but their player ba their player base, their player base is worse than ever. Um, I just, I don't see the future for Destiny. I, I guess I'm just going to have to wait till Destiny 2 and see how that goes, or maybe I just get so bored that I just go back to playing it, but I don't know. Um, the reason I haven't posted many videos, although I, you probably don't care, is because uh, I've just been so busy. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, schools, the first semester is coming to a close, so I'm just really caught up in a lot of things. Um, I actually haven't been playing video games much at all, but really, just, I don't really know what I've been doing. <laughs> um, but I, I probably don't care about that, you probably came for the Sparrow Racing, so yeah, let's talk a little more about Sparrow Racing. I think it's just, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. Um, I'm just trying to like, compose thoughts right now. Um, like it's pretty fun, it's... I could see him making like a tournament type thing out of it, but they'd, they'd have to change some things, man. First of all, I didn't even... I haven't unlocked the last Sparrow because I, I just can't be bothered to complete that last quest. Um, I have finished all of the quest line until like the last step. Or the... The S class or whatever it is. Your driver, your operator license or whatever the frick you get. Um, yeah, so they definitely have to change a few things with the sparrows. I, I don't think you should be able to get hit as much 
Like, if a player taps you, like, you fly. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Um. What else about the sparrows? I didn't even figure out how to do tricks. Like, I, I did. I didn't really use all the buttons because that was just kind of. didn't really feel like it, but I didn't even figure out how to do tricks. So. I don't know. Right now, it just seems. <laughs> I was playing it for four hours and I, I was so bored. Like, I'm actually glad to be making this commentary right now because I was just. I was just done with playing it. I couldn't do it anymore. Um, here you can see my rewards again. Two helmets. whoop de doo Who really cares? Uh, four minutes, 50 seconds. Not too bad. So here we're going to look at some other stuff about Sparrows. Spar the Sparrow Racing League. Here I'm completing one of the steps of the quest. I can't remember which one. I think it's the first step, actually. You get the Snow Scream. Not even a good Sparrow. It has worse boost than the... Oh, I can't remember what Sparrow this is called, but it... It's worse boost than this one, which is kind of ridiculous in terms of a Sparrow Racing League, where it's worse than the standard ones. That also doesn't make sense to me why the Raid Sparrows are the fastest Sparrows, because they're the hardest Sparrows to get, you know? Like it, some of the things Destiny does is really backwards, I don't get it. But um, the Sparrow actually does look a little bit more unique. It doesn't have a center console like the other ones. It just has those two little panels on the top, if you see that. Um, next up, I'm just showing that when you actually rank up, you get a toolkit, which I just got a random piece of armor. You also can get exotics from this, so it does use your three of coins. You don't get random exotics, you just use three of coins when you do it. I only really showed two steps of the quest. Um, here I'm going to show you the horns. I like the horns. That's that's a funny improvement. I like that a lot. But they do expire when SRL ends, which... <laughs> Come on, Destiny. I... It's so stupid. They're making rewards that are useless to get because they're going to end in three weeks. Like, that's not the point of an MMORPG. The point of an MMO is to collect stuff which you will use years later. But here I'm just showing the... This one, this one shader I was able to get. I'm actually, I actually like the shader quite a bit. It's pretty cool. Um, with the void, Manta looks boss. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was just all over the place. I was in complete rambles, but I just don't even know what to think about it. Like, I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens in the future. But at the yeah, once again, like thinking, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'm so sorry for this commentary, guys. Please forgive me. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.